Blu-rays, VHSs. It's time for an update. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on gangsters? Movie John here and it is time for a collection update and yeah I got two blu-rays and the rest are VHS and most of them I didn't pick up. The first few I got from a uh, Instagram seller Sarah's Films for Sale. I've talked about her before she sells blu-rays really cheap sometimes two and three dollars VHS 50 cent a dollar you can't beat the prices you know you got to get deals out there and she's got the deals for you. But I looked on her uh, Instagram here not long ago before I went on vacation. It's been a few weeks ago. And I picked up one that I've never seen on Blu-ray. I don't know if it's out of print or it's just, you know, you just don't come across it much. Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon back in Fear. I think this was uh, Mark Wahlberg's first film he ever made. Uh, since I picked it up, had to watch it. Uh, me and Rousey watched it one night. And uh, see young Mark Wahlberg and compared to nowadays, the comedies and stuff he does. He was pretty gruesome in this and uh, <laughs> pretty crazy in ways. But uh, picked that one up off of her. Anybody knows if that's out of print or whatever, let me know. And we got a double shot of Mark Wahlberg. She also had this. Ted. Yeah, uh, Rousey's never seen this. So I said, go ahead and grab this too. Put them both together. And uh, we happened to watch this. Just uh, I think we actually watched this either the night before or did we have a double shot of Mark Wahlberg at night, I believe. I think we watched it the night before, I remember. But anyway, watching this and then going to watch Fear, that was kind of funny. Now, the next three I got off of her, too. They were only a dollar piece. And, uh, you know, I collect horror VHS and stuff. And here over the last year, I decided to get some action stuff and some classic stuff from the 80s, you know. Uh, whether it's real easy to find on Blu-ray or DVD, I don't care. If I can find it cheap on VHS, I'm going to get it. And she had these for a dollar piece, so I picked them up. Beverly Hills Cop. It's almost in mint condition. Haven't seen this in forever. Actually, I might pop this in today on my day off and watch it. I haven't seen uh, Eddie Murphy, classic Eddie Murphy, I should say, before Disney and all that good stuff. And uh, Beverly Hills Cop 1. Also, uh, got Beverly Hills Cop 2 for a dollar off of her. Uh, same way with the other one. I haven't seen this in forever. I couldn't tell you what the hell happens in it. I have to check them all out. Maybe have uh, Trilogy uh marathon because yeah part three you know i don't even remember ever even seeing part three i lived in virginia beach when part three came out and i remember seeing the poster art and everything and i might have seen a clip or two from it but i really don't know if i've sat down and actually watched this whole film and the rest of these vhs that i got to show you are from rousey she picked them up at our local thrift store alfred hitchcock's the lady vanishes haven't never seen this she likes hitchcock i've got some other hitchcock films so, uh, yeah, I had to pick it. She had to pick it up. Look at that green cover. It's kind of wild, ain't it? But, uh, yeah, that's one of them. The next one, uh, I've never heard of. Never knew they even had. I've seen the first two films. And apparently they got three, but it's got a different cast and everything. I think most of them were different. It might have a, uh, I think they are different. This is the Adams Family Reunion. It's one of these clamshells. Uh, it's got Tim Curry in it, so and Daryl Hannah. So, yeah, it's a whole different cast and everything. Never checked it out. Uh, love the first two uh, Adams Family films. And that's weird because I like Adams Family, the films and stuff they came out with in the 90s, but I don't really get into the TV show. I'm more of a Munsters fan. And the next two she picked up because she says it's cool. And, yeah, I'm trying to get them on DVD, collect a lot of the movies because I've got a lot of the series and stuff that's came out on DVD. And she goes, well, I know, but it's still cool. I just had to get it. And uh, Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood. Yeah, VHS here. Uh, never seen this. Uh, I just rewinded it. Watched a few minutes of it when I was rewinding it. So uh, you can't go wrong with Scooby-Doo. And she decided to get a double shot. And this is Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. 
and after looking through my DVDs, I actually have this on DVD too. So I told her, you know, I really didn't want to double dip, but she said it's cool and it's free, you know, just take it. And I said, okay, so there it is, Scooby-Doo. And that's the update uh, VHS and two Blu-rays. Not a whole big deal, but uh, just stuff I wanted to go ahead and show off and get it put away because if I don't put it away, it drives me crazy. And I have on top over here, I have a little shelf that I set it up on top of the new stuff to do an update and uh, when I do an update I put them away in the shelves and stuff so it drives me crazy stacked up there so I had to do another uh, collection update so soon I think I just done one about a week ago but that's just the way it goes gangsters and uh, if you like any of these films let me know what you like and if you've seen the Adams Family Reunion I haven't seen that one that's a different one for me and check out Fear on Blu-ray if it's out of print or whatever. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, I'm not up the key on them things. So that's the collection update. Till next time, gangsters.